We are Emma, Sean, Rex and Maggie. Join us as we explore the UK and beyond in our old motorhome Rene. We are currently heading south through France on our way to the Pyrenees. After leaving Cap Breton, we arrived at Anglet, just north of Buritz. With the nickname of Little California, Anglet is known for its 11 surfing beaches, seafront cafes, bars and restaurants, and a four and a half kilometre long promenade. We took advantage of the good weather and walked the five kilometres into Baritz. got a vegan bowl from Barley Bowls in the centre of Biarritz. Looks really nice. It is good. It's tempeh, I think. Mmm, very nice. Is it tasty? Yeah, it's good. Cool. Highly recommend it. Oh yeah, very good, actually. Mmm. Nice. Bonjour. <laughs> Welcome to Biarritz. Um, we've just had some special lunch that uh, from the barley bowls i've still got my barley bowls coffee made with otaly uh barista milk which you've been looking for top to bottom in france but they don't sell it in the supermarkets i think we managed to get it once so we've actually gone to drinking black coffee so we're savoring our otaly barista we're staying in a great air in Anglais, which is just north of Biarritz. So we're staying there for over the weekend for a couple of days. So hopefully I'll be able to get out for a surf uh, when the tide's low. I went this morning, but the tide was too high, so it's no good for me. But we'll go back later and hopefully I'll get out for a surf. And then we're gonna head to another air south of Biarritz um, for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and uh, check out the south side. Taking in the views from Rocha de Basta and Rocha Le Vierge, which are landmark rock formations in Baritz along the famous coastal walk.
today. Yeah, well, good. And admiring the many cool electric vehicles for rent in the city. back to the air we stumbled across a classic car rally on the beachfront in Anglet. So Corvette, AC Cobra, Ferrari, Porsche, and the British contingent, MGA, Jag, yeah, Jag, and a TR6. to finish up. The motorhome air at Unglet is all hard standing with water and waste facilities but no electric. For seven euros ten per night we couldn't complain at all. Just be prepared for the temperamental machine to get in and out. More on that later. How's it going? Yeah good. We're losing the sun. Yeah it's all gone now. Yeah I have to go down the yeah uh, Beach and Everybody's watch the taking sunset. their chairs and sitting on the grass. Up I'm there. sure they are. That's the place to be. <laughs> Let's go. Run away, run away. Good morning. Had a bit of a disaster this morning. Well, it's not really a disaster, it's first world problem. But the string on our vent here doesn't seem to be working properly so you can see it's like it's not work it's all baggy so what i can gather is that in the top here this bit here has popped out of this channel so i need to try and get that and poke it in there for it to work properly so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to film and do that but I'll try and do the fix and then I'll show you it working fingers crossed <laughs> see you in a bit meanwhile uh, we're moving on today not far um, we're currently in Anglais, um, which is just north of Buritz. And today we're going to another air, which is just south of Buritz. Um, so hopefully Sean can go surfing because it's been a bit big up this end. Um, so uh, it looks a bit smaller. When we went into Buritz yesterday, we looked at the beach down that side and it looked the, the waves looked a little bit smaller, a bit cleaner. So we're going to head down to the air there and hopefully we can walk to the beach. I think it's only about five minutes. Um, so Sean can have a surf. So anyway, we'll see. We'll see if he fixes the window first. Uh, it's broken. 
there's a little bit there you can probably see that's snapped off there so I'd like to do a temporary fix I've sort of threaded it underneath a clip that's holding this this um, mesh the uh, flying net in so we just have to be careful otherwise if we forget and pull it it's just gonna ping out and then once that pings out then we're buggered really so yeah not sure whether that means we're gonna have to replace the whole thing or what but we'll see when we get home we'll do some YouTube uh, exploring somebody else might have had the same issue this is where you need gadget John yeah Come on, John, you must know. Yeah, so I might need to do some begging messages <laughs> to Gadget John, even though he doesn't know who I am, but you know, you never know. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. This is what happens when you've got a 15 year old van yeah, that's things, well used. Things break. Things break. Plastic breaks, doesn't it? Little it bits of brittle. plastic break. Yeah. It's brittle over time, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh dear, oh well. Well, she, he's not doing badly, Renny. Yeah, not doing we're badly. doing all right. We just got to nurse him along. He'll yeah. be all right. Yeah. We've just arrived at this new air just south of Brits, and nice surprise, parking is currently free. And the barriers are up. So we just uh, filled up with water. And um, there's a little drain point over there. I don't know if you can see. See that there, drain point over there and a fill ups with water. And here's ready. <laughs> it's pretty exposed this uh, air, it's just like a car park and there's a road running right down there and you've got the <laughs> um, airport running over and above. So we're going to go in the corner over here pretty hot today so the pictures are quite big so we're gonna go in this corner point our solar panel towards the sunshine and then create some shade on this side for us to have a little sit down and chill out in the shade lovely perfect good job Grant instant shade yeah it's all right, it's a little bit noisy, but we kind of don't mind that. It's very close to the beach, so we'll probably go for a walk, head down there in a bit. So I'm not sure if you can see this, but this is the current chaos that's happening um here at the air uh, just south of Baritz. basically we arrived yesterday excuse me i'm putting my face cream on um and the barrier was up and it remained up all day and all evening and uh loads of more people came through <laughs> and now when we got up this morning the barrier the barrier's down no one obviously bought a ticket yesterday because it said you didn't need to pay and now none of the people can get out. Oh, hang on a minute. Somebody's managed to get out, finally. So they've been all there. There's been about four or five vans there trying to get out for about the last half an hour. Um, they need to sort these <sighs> machines out. They're useless. The one that Anglais, Anglais didn't work either. Um, not very well. Um, so, yeah. So if you come, be prepared um to have some issues with these machines because they're touch screen they're all fancy but they don't work very well at all um they're a bit fickle so anyway looks like they resolved it and they're heading off out now so investigative sean what's happening with the gate so i met a friendly dutch man um who can speak french he rang the number and then he's got another number um, a French number that you ring and then there's an automated uh, message and then after about three or four minutes they send the message to the barrier and the barrier lifts. So, so, you know, so, so it's going to be a bit difficult 
so you can't just pay the machine and then get out you have to ring this special number apparently to... yeah apparently that that's how that's what's working at the moment yeah so oh. this dude this dutch dude sorted it all out so yeah i i asked him for the number and so we've got the number it. now we have the number we um, have we have, we the, have power. the power um so i guess we don't know because they, they might because like the other one we have to show the ticket in the window so I'm not sure what to do so well, we'll just go and pay now for today yeah stick yeah. the ticket in the window yeah and then we've had a free night's sleep we've had one free night's sleep and then if we can't get out with that ticket then we would just ring that number yeah I'm cool. guessing so cool well we'll let you know how we get on eh oh good or we might be just stuck in beer for the rest of our lives no we're not going to be I've had <laughs> enough on one go <laughs> time for the mountains the mountains are calling the mountains are calling I've had enough of beer and it's noisy night's sleep thank yeah. you after spending some time on the beaches we decided to check out a shady forest walk just 15 minutes inland from the air Oh my god, there's millions of them! You don't want to tread on one. Hello, little lizard. There's loads of them. Yeah, they're all over the wall. Yeah. Oh, there's two now. He's like, this is my house. Black Murisco is a hidden gem and the perfect place to get away from the crowds on the beaches and enjoy an easy stroll among the forest with lovely views over a lake. So I just thought I'd fill you in on the drama that's been happening on this air today. <laughs> we have been out by the way for a walk. Um, so yeah, after the drama this morning with people not being able to get out, the machine's now broken, so no one can get in. So um, yeah, so there's been about 30 or 40 vans come up to the barrier this afternoon and they just haven't been able to get in. And unfortunately, the air that's just around the corner that we went and had a look at this morning which is really nice it's all in the sh shade and everything and right by a lake and uh, yeah that's now full so uh, yes yeah, so there's a lot of pissed off people um, we can get out although we haven't paid yet so we can get out we've got a phone number that we need to ring and they'll open the barrier for us but we're hoping that they actually get the machine working tomorrow so then we can pay and then we can get out um but we'll see these three airs i'm telling you the anglet or ang anglet, anglet one the this one and the other one that's now full they're all got the same pay machines and they're not great there's loads of reviews on Google that actually say the machines never work and it's just been proven that two out of the three that we've been to not working at all well. Sean's been for a surf so our site looks a bit of a tip right now. Better get that tidied up before we uh, head out probably for sunset. Um, but I think in the meantime it's been really warm here today it's about 30 odd in the van at the moment as yes, Sean is going to rig up the cold shower so that I can have an outdoor cold shower because it's so hot and sweaty and being menopausal not good anyway just thought I'd uh, update you on all the happenings in this uh, air and um, yeah what an exciting life I lead how was your surf, Sean? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, really good. Really enjoyed it. Good. Yeah, waves are perfect for me today. So How far do you have to walk to get to where you went? 20 minutes down the beach. Yeah. But so that's okay. 
where we were mind. looking in Baritz the other the other day when we were in Baritz town centre. Yeah. It was there, wasn't yeah. it, along that beach that you yeah. went to? So from here, I have to wait until the tide is two hours either side of low tide, and then there's enough beach. Otherwise, it's just rock, and then it's about a twenty minute walk to where the waves are smaller. There's still waves here. But they're, they're a, a little bigger, bit bigger, aren't they? So yeah. it's more more my style down there. But for better for beginners. beginners slash intermediates yeah, it's good Got up. yeah, yeah it's so you managed good. to walk down the beach did you just 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 on the way there and then it eases it's on, fine the, way on the way back yeah in a wetsuit yeah and it's not too bad to, to get to the beach from here we just walk out of the air up there and there's literally a little left turn and it's what 100 yards down that road yeah it's not far and, and then the steps. a bit of steps down yeah. to the beach and then you can walk all the way along can't yeah. you yeah yeah so it's I quite mean, it's quite a good stop there's a school there is a surf school there so you can learn here it's no problem but the waves are slightly better for me further into Biritz. few days in the sun and surf it was now time for us to leave the coast and head inland. Join us next time as we head for the mountains of the French Pyrenees.